Hey everybody, it's Ollie from OmniTub and I'm shooting today and Tiger is gonna get in all the tubs. So the reason why I wanna do this is because Tiger's five foot eight and is a good difference between myself who's six four and we had a lady that was five two. Tiger sits in at five eight and I'm gonna flip it around, go through all of the tubs to show you what someone who's five eight looks like in the tubs, which seems to be a popular request. Admittedly, this isn't gonna be the most amazingly shot video. I'm just literally handballing it and uh, gonna film around but at least it gives more context to you guys if you are looking for sizes to get into tubs, what spaces there is and stuff like that. I'll flip it around, let's go. So Tiger is gonna get into the solo tubs first, then we'll go into the duo tubs, then we'll go into the deluxe tubs. This is uh, 1050 long by 750 wide, 600 deep. It's currently sat at about 75. So all of the tubs here are set at about 75 high. They could be lower. Uh, depending on what you've got underneath the floor, whether the ways can fit. Tiger, just jump on in. Let's go through each one to show people what it looks like getting in each tub. So stepping in, Tiger's a slimmer build. Um, and it, as you can see here, really sitting inside this solo with the shoes on as well. There is plenty of room inside there for that sort of build. I think if you were like, much much taller you might be short on space but then it is only 105 centimeters long it's the smallest tub we do we do much bigger tubs obviously um so yeah there's 1050 long 750 wide that's the kind of space that you're looking at i hope this sort of helps context building and whether this is the kind of videos you guys want to see let me know because we can keep making these all day every day uh to show you it's not a problem i can get i'll literally start collaring everybody in who comes in and ask them to do a video shoot for their height so you can see what it looks like. So that's 1050 by 750, let's jump into the Solo Plus. That one there is for Solo. Any of the tubs are available in any of the colors. Panels are obviously additional if you wanted to do that. A lot of people board and tile in there, completely up to you. Solo Plus, you know, a bit more room in this one, mate. Again, it's at about 75. Um, Solo Plus, 1250 long, 750 wide, 600 deep. That's the internal depth. As you can see there, there's just that extra bit of space because it's 20 centimeters longer than the Solo. So when the feet are out, obviously there's a lot more space there compared to where the Solo was, which was about, about there internally maybe. So there's plenty more space inside there. I really like that nightshade color as well. I think it's pretty fire. Um, looks really nice with the matte black as well. So this one here has plenty more space, okay? Same width as this, but 20 centimeters longer. Okay, let's jump. Let's jump into Solo Extra. Solo Extra is 11.50 long by 900 wide, 600 deep. 600 internal depth as with all the tubs. You go 525 to the bottom of the overflow. Overflow gap there is about 50, but it's about 25 above it, making it for 600. 25 mil baseboard underneath is external height, doesn't count as the internal depth, obviously, of the tub. So when you start sitting 900 wide, you've got much more space, obviously, on the side because it's an extra 15 centimeters. So there's plenty more width on there. Nice for you to be able to soak back in. You can see there the feet are like nicely spaced out. You could easily go out. Yeah, that's quite cool. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's 115 centimeters long. So it's nowhere near as long as like a standard tub, which is that length. This one here is much less. You did that recently. I was saying I wanted to film that. I think that's actually a pretty baller space. When you sat in that place there, I never even thought of doing that. I reckon I could probably do that uh, even at my height, but I think that's probably, is that pretty comfy? It feels like a solo. Yeah, yeah, like I say, yeah. I, but you got some nice width on it. So that's sound. That's good actually. I'm glad you did that on that. In the corner, that's how I used to sit in my Duo Plus. Plenty of space in there, in and around. With the shoes on as well, obviously, with no water in. It's obviously a bit different sitting in it to how you would when there's water in it. But ideally, get in there, get that tub filled, have a nice deep soak in there, and you're good. Solo Ultra, now you start swimming. Because the Solo Ultra being 1500 long, this one right here, 1500 long, 800 wide, 600 deep as per. Got a nice panel sitting around there. I really rate that. I like that look. So, Solo Ultra, we're gonna go. So that's straightened out and some. So when I'm sat in that tub and I'm much taller, I'm still straightening my legs out to the end of there quite comfortably. And the width on that is just really nice. I think with you being a slimmer build, like you don't need an 800 width, but I still think it looks quite nice having that 800 width. I'm a bit broader uh, than Tiger, so that 800 width is, is really nice for me. Um, there we go, look. So there's plenty of space. You could have two of you in that tub, right? 
fit two of you, one outside. If the overflow was moved to the middle, you could fit two. Yeah, sitting out for days, right? <laughs> Solar Ultra, really deep, plenty of space. Imagine that filled with water up to the neck, soaking in there, it's happy days. It's really, really good. Um, as with the deluxe tubs are here, should we just shoot with the deluxe tubs? Let's just shoot with the deluxe tubs. So this, this here is the deluxe. So this is 1700 long by 750 wide. This, believe it or not, is the length of the standard tub in the UK and the standard width, 750 wide, 1700 in length. And now you got room for days because sat in there, two people sat there quite comfortably. 750 width is quite nice actually sat on you, but then you are quite a slimmer build. It's a slimmer build there and you can see the width you've got either side. Pretty comfortable, plenty of space in there. You could fit two of you in there quite comfortably. That's a slimline filler on that one because it only protrudes about 30 mil, whereas the Emperor's protrude about 55 mil. You can see the difference. So there you go. The next one we've obviously got, I keep forgetting the color of this one. Can you remember the color of this one? I keep forgetting. Seafoam? Nah, nah. Green? <laughs> it's not it's like a bluey aqua sort of colour. I really like it. Teal? Teal, it's teal. It's teal. Yeah, teal. 800 wide, 1800 long inside this one. So now we're sitting the same width as this, but 30 centimetres longer. So if you've got that real big space and you want to fill that, you got a lot of space in there, man. Me and you fit in there. You can lay down in it. <laughs> That's super big. Really nice to fill the space. Most people on this tub, good job. Most people on this tub put the overflow on the side um, and then the waist connects to that. And then, and then usually it's wall, wall, wall entry or the other way around. Uh, sometimes they go in corners, but most commonly they're sat like that as the accessible side. And then if it's a system, we'll put pumps and stuff on the front so they can get access. So. Yeah, most people would sit it centrally, but any of the sides are suitable to be decked on. So if you wanted to put the taps on any of the sides, you could. You can even put it on this side here. But I've got a tub to show you like that in just a minute. So yeah, you've got length all day for that, haven't you? Yeah. Big space, 800 wide, same width as the Solo Ultra, but it's uh, 800, uh, sorry, it's 1500, this is 1800. Um, that's the 1700 by 750 we've just been in. And if we jump into the big boy, this is a big boy. This is a chunky boy. 1900 long, 900 wide, 600 deep, and uh, you're swimming. Big space. Because now we're sitting the same width as the Solo Extra, but the length of 1900 just makes that, make you look quite small in there. That's big. That's a big space. Space for me and you in there. <laughs> it's a big space in there. It looks look good, but it's just a big space. Lots of water space in there. Obviously, you know, you can have a bigger tub. You don't have to soak it up to the highest level, but that tub all the way up to the overflow, that's a lot of water. As you start to think about different things when you start to look at putting tubs in that big. But a lot of people do like big tubs like this, especially when we've got bigger bathrooms, especially when they want to put systems in there. It's a really, really nice space to have. Um, and again, yeah, you don't have to fill it right up to the overflow. The numbers that we give for the overflow filling is right up to the bottom of that point there but a lot of people would obviously go a bit lower in there and just soak inside the tub. And it's quite nice to stand over a tub that doesn't creak like other tubs. No one wants to creak in tub, do they? But most people have them. So these ones here, solid all the way throughout. I'll show you that baseboard underneath. Just there, uh, look. Gives it extra stability. Super, super tough. As with all the tubs, it's not gonna move. It's not gonna creak when you stand on it. Let's go to the duos. Let's get into the duos. Got more here. So this one here is the 1050 1050. So now we're coming back down in size to where we were right on the big ones. 1050 1050. It's currently the only square one we've got, but I really do want some other ones. So if anybody's after like 1200 1100 1100 or anything like that, let us know because I'm quite keen to make it uh, to build out the square range. This one here, 1050 1050. Super nice in size, plenty of space for someone of that sort of height, which is a lot, a, a big common request we get is people who are around the five, six, five, seven, five, eight mark. What does it look like with this person in it? That's why I'm making this video for you guys. Um, you can see inside a duo, plenty of space. Could you fit two of you in there? If you sit there, feet there, this was how we sold this tub originally. Now sit uh, back there, feet there. 
Nah, the feet, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, so if the person was the same size as you right now, you could fit another person there, couldn't you? Easily. If the person was the same size as you. If it was me getting in there with you, I reckon we'd be a bit tight. And I'm currently sitting about 14 three, 14 stone three, six foot four. Be a bit of a tight one, not it? Yeah. yeah. But if the person was about the same height or smaller, or a little bit bigger, I don't think it'd be too much of an issue at all. So, that's for duo, 10.50, 10.50. Like I said, if anyone's looking for 1100s, uh, 1200s, 1300s, anything like that, just let us know, because I am keen to get them made pretty sharpish to build out a square range. We've got three, four, five squares to go along, so just let me know about that, no worries at all. Jump into the Duo Plus. Duo Plus is 12.50, 10.50. I really like the black with the uh, yes. turquoise. I rate that, really nice. Plenty of space inside this. Now for Tiger, this is a tub that I used to use a lot of. Legs out straight then, were they? Uh, sort of, 5'8", uh, 5'8 five eight. Five eight is. Okay, so 5'8", in a corner, feet straight. Okay, plenty of space inside there, sitting on the corner. You would, the way that these, these tubs were made originally was to have, was to have your back there, feet there, and then the next person has the back there, feet there. That's why the waist is off center. Plenty of space in there for two if that were the case. So there's plenty of space inside of that tub for that sort of size. If you were both the same size or one a bit smaller, one a little bit taller, I think me and you would be all right in there at six, four, five, eight. I think I'd be all right. That'd be all good. That's cool. Okay, so plenty of space inside there for Tiger at five foot eight, slim build. Um, as you can see, it's, it's, uh, he's sat in the middle. <laughs> Yeah, it's good space. It's a nice space. A nice deep soaking space. Keep that water level temperature consistent for a longer. Super nice. Handmade in Somerset, Nimsham, shipped all around the world. Just depends how long it takes to get there, depending on how the couriers are. Do an extra, 1500, 1050. That's this one right here. I said earlier about decking tubs on a 75 mil flange. This is a five piece from Crosswater that we've decked on a 75 mil flange, handheld shower. Hot, cold, on, off, uh, temperature, uh, switch between shower and tub. Start getting into 1500, 1050. Can you reach it? <laughs> Waist is on the middle. It's quite uh, down the middle there, as you can see. Overflow we've placed there, quite standard. That's because you wouldn't fit an overflow there because, probably quite useful showing this, all of that. If all of that's there, you can't fit an overflow there. So don't put an overflow there and also want to deck taps unless you're gonna have a space in between them, okay? So 1500 by 1050, 600 deep, extra 25 mil on the base, super thick, you're in there for days. That's now the same width as the, so, as the, like, the duo, so that's why you can sit so comfortably like that. You could stack probably three of you like that if you were moved across, imagine that. If we had an editor right now, and you were in the corner, I'd go, duh, 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 and it would just, you know? I, pr I probably could. <laughs> Like that, double it out. I mean, the space in there is just, it's, it's a big tub. It's really popular with jet systems and stuff. It's probably because we use it as our demo tub as well. And it's a sort after size, it works really well. It looks really lovely in the bathrooms. Deep soaking tub. That's perfect. And inside, 1500 by 1500, span you out 10 times in there. This tub's actually super popular. Goes a lot outdoors, goes lots on the ground floors, goes on the first floors, lots of people use this size because they want just the big, big tub with or without jets, available in any color, best space in there for you and your whole family if you wanted. Legs straight on that, yeah. Comfy as well. Is that a nice, good, good length for you, People is it? Legs out. Yeah, good length for you. And I've still got like that back bit here, so I've still yeah. got like that much space. Yeah, it's good space. It's comfortable, right? Mm. I can fit in there. If there was water in there, I'd eat it in there right now. Right. Fast 1500 by 1500. Duo Ultra is really popular, especially for people outdoors. People use it a lot to sink into the ground, kids jumping in it and stuff. Supervised, of course, but you know what I'm saying? It's good for an outdoor space to jump in and out of safely. You look good. Right, so that was Tiger, five foot eight, slim build, getting in all 11 tubs. The 1800 by 1050 that we're making still getting made. I haven't got one here yet. The moment I've got one, I'll do another video. I'll probably just reshoot the whole thing because the whole area will look different then. Like I said, this is a bit different to the other videos that we generally make when Tiger's shooting and I'm kind of walking around going through stuff. But I wanted to make this today because we do get asked what size people are when they, like, or how much space is there in there for, for a person that's around sort of 5'8". And I'm always putting Tiger on the videos on WhatsApp. If you've bought a tub from us, 
and you asked for someone on 5.8, I would have done a video of Tiger in it. And I just thought I might as well just shoot something super quick, get it up on YouTube, put it up on Facebook and put it on the site and stuff like that. And um, see if it helps anybody. So that for context was a 5.8 slim build person in all of the 11 tubs. Um, Kai's like six foot one-ish. So I think I'm probably gonna end up shooting that as well so you can see the difference again. Um, but yeah, I hope that this has been useful for somebody. Anyone got any questions, reach out to us. 01934 751 200 option one. WhatsApp is the easiest way always because the phone lines do get really busy. I've had to put my phone on airplane mode to shoot this because the phone will just ring and cut the message. So I better jump back on that right now. So thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, we'll be back again for another video real soon. See you later guys.